So I want to share an insane story. I'm going to be sharing some of the things that have happened to me as a real estate agent. And some of them are funny, some of them are scary, and some of them are rather embarrassing. Um, today I'm going to share one that is kind of scary. A um, little bit funny, but mostly uh, scary for me at the time. So I had a client who was chivalrous the entire time during uh, all the showings I took them on and everything that we went to see. Uh, he um, was very friendly. Uh, he called me sister, you know, Sister Katie. Um, was very nice to me. Uh, I had a great rapport with him as a client. So it goes to, <laughs> it comes to the time where we were to do our final walkthrough. He had already put an offer in on a house and we were the day before closing and so we get to this uh, before the final walkthrough uh, he sends me a strange text and the text message said wear your blue dress <clears throat> and to preface that um, there was a blue dress a t-shirt dress long went past my knees <laughs> t-shirt style dress neck cut to here and I had a little khaki jacket that I wore at one of our showings one of the first showings that um I went to with him. And I thought that was strange. He told me to wear my blue dress to this final walkthrough. I was, uh, red flags going off like, okay, wear my blue dress. Well, okay, no. First of all, I immediately knew I was not gonna be wearing my blue dress. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not complying with that request. Um, <laughs> so I end up having my teenage son come with me. And unfortunately uh, he at that time was 13 um, I had to bring my other two children too, so I thought, well, whatever he's got planned, um, or maybe he was just being funny about the blue dress, but no matter what, my children were going to be in the car, all except for my oldest, he wasn't there, um, would have been better if he was, but my children are going to be in the car, and that should deter any kind of weird thing that could possibly happen during this final walkthrough. So... Uh, we get there and he sees my kids. He says hello to them. Um, and my son, Gage, was like, Mom, you want me to go in with you? And I said, no, you're fine. We're completely fine. You stay in the car. He knows you're here. So if anything was weird, planned, I'm sure that's whatever. So we go in and I'm keeping a distance, actually. I'm standing mostly towards the front door and I'm, you know, following him throughout the house rather than him following me until we get to the kitchen. <laughs> We get into the kitchen, and I guess I got distracted looking because it was feeling like a normal final walkthrough. I felt like I was with a client that, you know, you know, I could trust, honestly. So I got distracted. I ended up against a wall, and next thing I know, he comes up to me, and he says that he is very happy about all of this and that he wanted a hug. And I was like, uh, what? And so he comes up to me, and he throws his arms around me, and I'm like this. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> nice hug. But I try to pull away and he doesn't let me go. And I'm like, okay, what is actually happening right now? I didn't know if I needed to start planning to throw some knees and to throw some elbows. I didn't know um, <laughs> what his plans were, but it felt like he was gonna let me go. But instead of letting me go, he pulls his head back and he comes to my face and he comes in like he's going to try to kiss me and I was like whoa <laughs> holy snap that did not just happen so he pulls me back into another hug that was forever and then finally finally he lets me go and immediately like I I hit towards I start walking towards the um, front door and I'm like okay it's time to go uh, we whatever and honestly, it's kind of fuzzy for me because I think I think I was kind of in like fight or flight mode at that point um, mentally because I was very stressed out that he tried to kiss me and he would not let me go. And honestly, um, I share this because there is a real potential danger for female real estate agents. And, and then my whole point is just don't let your guard down. Women in general, um, wherever you are, no matter what your profession is, if you have that sensation that something's not right, um, don't let your guard down. I wish now I would have had my 13 year old come in with me. Um, that probably wouldn't have happened. 
unfortunately, I had to make a decision. Um, he was married and his wife could not be at the final walkthrough. Um, I had to decide whether or not I was going to make a big stink and, um, or if I was just going to deal with it. And of course I decided to just deal with it and we closed, but I did not sit anywhere close to them. Um, I sat like on the other side of the room and observed the closing, um, far off and at a distance, uh, because yeah, it was very stressful for me. But anyways, that's my uh, short, scary, spooky story about, um, a creeper. Don't be a creeper. Okay. Don't be a creeper. I did not want to hug. I definitely didn't want to kiss Kermit the frog. So <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short story and, um, yeah, women keep your guard up. All right. Have a good day guys.